I'm really interested in deconstructing world-class thinkers. This is what I really enjoy doing. Um, and I'm particularly interested in the environment that they're raised in, that they grow up in, the conditions that allow someone to flourish uh, and to really make sense of the world. Um, so I was wondering, do you have any perhaps stories from, uh, could be interactions with family or just for, just stories from perhaps when you've grown up that you've thought to yourself, you know, this is not typical perhaps of say a common childhood you know, a sort of um, an instance or a sequence of things where you thought to yourself, you know, this this is part of the formula that allows me to think so deeply. Uh, because obviously, I mean, you, you're clearly an outlier from my experience. I mean, you, you, you're a very, very intelligent guy. So I'd love to know if you have any thoughts. Sure. Very unusual thing that my dad did once. I think there was a scene in The Sopranos where... Um, I think that was a show that my, my dad used to watch where the Tony Soprano and Carmela are uh, talking amongst themselves, between themselves, and they're, they're saying that they, they hope their daughter doesn't realize how powerless they truly are or how, how clueless they really are. Um, and that's sort of the great secret uh, that characterizes the dynamic between a parent and a child, typically. And I remember my dad showed me that scene because his, his point to me was essentially that if I were to succeed in, in his notion of what it meant to be great, to be a, a thinker, that would mean not succeeding with the world pulled over my eyes. That would mean understanding the chaos, the complexity that exists in every person and seeing people as people instead of roles, which are, you know, we hold different offices in our minds for different uh, relationships, different uh, dynamics. And I think he sort of wanted to shatter the illusion for me. And he wanted me to view people as people and not whatever their roles were supposed to be in my, in my mind. And I think that's allowed me to think more deeply about social fabrics. So I think that it was an unusual way of trying to be very proactive in breaking my illusions because in some sense, growing up is the destruction of illusions which make life more easy. And I think I was never really raised with a strong desire to preserve those illusions for as long as possible. So that was good. 